Hello everybody, this is video 2 of internal capsule and in this one we will be seeing the fibers passing through each part of the internal capsule. So let's quickly revise the internal capsule parts and relations. So here we have an outline, a rough outline of the internal capsule that is the anterior limb, the genu, the posterior limb, the retrolentiform part and the sublentiform part as well as the relations. The anterior limb is seen to lie between the caudate nucleus head of the caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus. The posterior limb lies between the thalamus and the lentiform nucleus. Extension of the posterior limb backwards, that is the retrolentiform part and underneath the lentiform nucleus, we have the sublentiform part. Now, we will have to learn the fibers through each part. This is very relevant exam wise. So, let us go on. So, fibers can be classified as both descending fibers and ascending or sensory fibers because uh, they pass upwards and downwards. And regarding the anterior limb, let us see the fibers. The descending fibers are given in brown. They are the corticopontine or frontopontine fibers. This is where they are located. And the ascending part, we are going up towards the sensory areas. We have the anterior thalamic radiation that is given in light blue. Coming to the post, the genu actually, not the posterior limb, the genu has descending fibers again, corticopontine, frontopontine fibers here as well as the corticonuclear fibers or also called the corticobulbar fibers. These supply the head and the neck. The ascending pathway consists of the beginning of what is called the superior thalamic radiation. Just a few fibers are starting to pass through the genu. That is because the rest of the fibers are passing through the posterior limb. Now, but before we go to that, let us first see the descending fibers of the posterior limb. The corticopontine and frontopontine fibers are still there. The corticospinal tracts are still there, they are going to your body and what you have here specifically are the ascending pathway and that is the rest or the major chunk of the superior thalamic radiation. So, what starts in the genu continues into the posterior limb. Now, what about the retrolentiform part? These carry actually the optic radiation. They do have the corticopontine fibers, but here since it has reached the back side of the brain, we have the parietopontine and the temporopontine fibers and the ascending pathway consists of posterior thalamic radiation which carries optic fibers. The last part is the sublentiform part. The descending or the motor fibers are again corticopontine fibers and the ascending fibers are the inferior thalamic radiation which carry auditory pathway. So, these are the fibers in different parts of the internal capsule. Now, let us see what are the breath supply or the artery supply in the internal capsule in the next video. Thank you.